Okay, so here comes the snow. We've got the cold, perfect book reading weather. Betsy Von Karens with the Bookworm joins us now with some great book recommendations. Really, anytime is a good time to read a book, but especially, especially right now, <laughs> right? So you got some ideas. What, what do we have for us today? Well, I brought a few pieces of fiction with me. Okay. Um, this is American Dirt, mm -hmm. and this book will actually be released next Tuesday. It's okay. by Janine Cummins. And this book is going to be a very important book next year, I oh, think. Why, why is that? Um, it deals with um, immigration. Uh, the, the main character in the book, Lydia Perez, mm -hmm. is on the run with her son, Luca, who is an eight-year-old boy. Their family has just been totally destroyed by mm -hmm. a drug cartel. And she knows that her head is a wanted woman. Yeah. And so she is on the run, and she uses every means that she can. Bus, um, they ride the trains, they go on foot. It's harrowing. It's suspenseful. Yeah. It is heart-wrenching. Ultimately, it is hopeful, and it is a story about family love, but it is very, very timely, yeah, and say, it will provoke a lot of yeah, conversation. Yeah, I bet it will. Okay, what do we have? This, what's this one right here? This is a twisty literary thriller, okay. Long Bright River. It is from Liz Moore, and it is set in the um, opioid crisis in Philadelphia. It deals with two sisters. One is a drug addict. One is a single mother policeman on the beat mm -hmm. of the neighborhood that her sister lives on the streets. Oh, wow. In Philadelphia, suddenly there is a string of murders, people are disappearing, and at the same time, her sister disappears. Mm -hmm. The sisters are no longer close, they do not speak, but yet there is that tie. And so, Mickey, the, mm -hmm. the cop, she goes looking for her sister and at the same time is trying to solve the murder. Wow. Um, it deals with family forgiveness, it goes back into their childhood, and you see how they got to where they are today. So, a great read in this weather, curl up on a chair yeah. and lose yourself in a great mystery. And finally, the last couple of seconds we have, tell us quickly about this, this one. This is a memoir. It's a beautiful memoir because it is written by a poet, but it deals with culture. It's told through letters that her mother wrote to her from Korea. She was almost abandoned by her parents for a period of her life oh, wow. and had to deal with what that meant and what her culture meant and what was her culture. So it's a beautiful read for those of us who like a little bit of nonfiction sprinkled in with our, our nice stories yeah. that we curl up with. And if with. people actually want to go and touch books and see the selection, where you guys are located where? We're at 90th and Center in Loveland Center. Um, we're on the northeast corner, and we would love to help people find the right thing to read. All right, go to, you can go there to the website as well and find out some great events going on as well and more information about some different book clubs. Betsy, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. It was my it. pleasure. Thank you for having me.